So we hear a, mar- a message on marriage and sexuality, and, and many of us feel loaded down with guilt, loaded down with shame, loaded down with regret. We're reminded of all our failures. So let me close this sermon by looking at this garden couple, how they had no shame, and remind us of the one who came to take our shame. The last point is the clothless couple. The clothless couple. Genesis 2.25. And the man and his wife were both naked and were not ashamed. Adam and Eve were naked and they were without shame. They were not aware of shame at this point. They had not taken of the fruit and eaten and had the knowledge of the tree of good and evil. They were without clothes and without shame. Now nakedness was a sign of shame for Israel. It would have been unheard of in in an Israelite's mind to be naked and not to have shame. They knew shame. Adam and Eve didn't know shame, but the Israelites knew shame. And beloved, we know shame. The Lord knows what we have done. He knows our shame. Listen to what Jesus says to the church of Laodicea, Revelation chapter 3. I know your works. You are neither hot nor cold. Would that you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. For you say, I am rich, I have prospered. I need nothing. Not realizing that you are wretched, pitiful, poor, blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by the fire, so that you may be rich in white garments, so you may clothe yourself, and the shame of your nakedness may not be seen, and salve to anoint your eyes that you may see. Beloved, Jesus invites us to come. Jesus invites us to, to turn from our sin, to repent, so that we can put on, that he can lavish on us his, his rich coverings of white garments. Jesus desires to clothe us with the righteous robes to cover our nakedness. So how does this this Savior, this Messiah, cover us? We know from Revelation 7-9. John writes, After this I looked, and behold, a great multitude that no one could number from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb. Salvation belongs to the Lamb. The Lamb who was slain to take away the sin of the world. Jesus Christ was slain for our nakedness. He was slain, but he was raised to sit on the throne. So now salvation belongs to the Lamb. Now here, just a few verses later, one of the elders addressed me saying, Who are these clothed in white robes? From where have they come? Who are these people who are among the Lamb clothed in white I said to him, Sir, you know, and he said to me, These are the ones coming out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Are you filled with shame? Do you feel regret? Loaded down with guilt when you think about your past sin. Friend, we all need covering. We have all been naked. And we all need to be washed. Therefore, God sent forth the Lamb to be slain to cover us. So that if we come to Christ, believing in His death and His resurrection, our robes would be washed and they would be white as snow. God knew that Adam and Eve would need a covering. He knew that we would need a covering. So right now, Jesus Christ offers you the righteous robes of Christ. 
purchased with his blood. Will you let him clothe you? Will you let him cover your shame? Whatever you have today, that you are feeling guilty and burdened down, give it to Christ. He wants to cover that shame, cover that guilt, cover that burden, and he wants to give you salvation. Because salvation belongs to the Lamb. Father, we indeed confess that salvation belongs to the Lamb. Wash us, Lord. Cleanse us. Remind us of the the robes you have given us in Christ. That because we believe, one day we will be around the throne singing salvation belongs to our God and to the Lamb. Let it be so, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.